Heading into the sounds page, there are many adjustments that you can make per sample in the top panel, but also per layer in the bottom panel. As ever, the upper 12 kit elements are coloured red, and the lower blue. There are some useful global layer controls accessible by clicking each of the layer's drop-down menus. You can initialize layer and clear all settings, or choose to copy, paste or clear loop points, layer settings or tuning. Otherwise, layer controls live at the bottom half of the interface. You can tune the entire layer, that's all 12 kit elements, by octaves, semitone or fine tune by dragging the numbers useful for mapping out a different root key for each layer and mixing them up for live playing The layer volume and pan dial should be self-explanatory. But there are also some fun options for automation of each by LFO. Just click above each dial and you'll open the LFO parameters, including options for shape, speed, intensity and fade in time. There's also a key retrigger option. The spread dial handles stereo width. And the vintage tape speed and pitch dials introduce a tape wobble effect. Above this you can see a graphic of the 12 kit element keys and turn on and off looping, direct, remix and reverse for the entire layer. If you make any play adjustments to specific samples, then you can see that reflected in the matrix. Moving on, the AMP window contains ADSR and curve controls for volume shaping. Next up, the slice window which hosts the play direction and loop remix sequences for both layers. These are covered in some detail in a separate sample controls video. The shape window is all about EQing. Activate each layer's EQ here and adjust the three band EQ to taste. Lastly, the pitch window has some fun envelopes for automating each layer's pitch, particularly effective on percussion and pads. Or you can make your own riser and tape stop effects. 